All right, guys, we're back today. I'm working on this Sub-Zero fridge in my basement. Got my little heifer with me. And uh, so it's an older fridge. Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit. But it is a 48 inch and it was 2009. So it is an older fridge, still in nice shape. Uh, this right here is the freezer compressor. And uh, we're going to, sorry, turn around on the ladder. So we're going to check the amperage. And uh, this is how we're going to do that. Let's turn it up to the clamp. And actually let's hold that down. And get us a light going. So it is clamped and it's against the wires. So it should give us a, a voltage and Let's actually do that in case it kicks on and we miss it. Sorry, I'm shaking a little bit. Uh, all right, so let's plug this thing in. So I right now I just got it plugged in with an extension cord. So we're going to plug it in. Well, there it goes. And the lights came on, which is a good thing. It should kick on pretty soon. Let's see. There we go. And bam. So you can see your voltage didn't really go up, but your ounce went up to 18.6. All right, so if you look on the back side of the motor, you should see. Hey, let me. This is getting to be a pain to get up here. I don't want to fall. Let's zoom in right there. Well, we can't really see it. Oh, I can't get up here. So I think it's supposed to be like nine amps is the most it's supposed to pull. Uh, whenever I get it out, I can actually look. Actually, I got the same motor, same compressor over here. So, let me unplug this. I need to let it sit there and run. But, uh, so this is the compressor. The replacement compressor is new. There it is. I did take it out of the box so you can't see my address or whatever, but it's 9.3. It can't go over 9.3. Or the compressor quits. So, it's already been drained or evacuated. So actually, let me, uh, gotta switch my footing on the ladder again. Uh, so let's get the clamp off. Let's turn this thing off. Uh, so I'm gonna clamp it. And then remove it from the wires. And we can just set it in here. All right, so, this right here is your starter relay, which we know that's not the problem. Actually, this is the capacitor, which could be the problem if it wasn't out and out, amping out. But uh, just gonna do this. It's already unplugged, by the way. So the motor now, or the compressor now, just needs to be cut away from the uh, the lines, and plus take the bolts out. All right. Let me go do this and I will be back. All right, here you go. By the way, this right here is supposed to be covered up with a sheet or a box or whatever. So if it's in your pantry, you will not be able to see like this. But uh, since it's in my basement, I can see the motors. So this is your fridge, this is your freezer motor. It's definitely a different size. I keep calling it a motor, but it's compressors. Uh, so I did cut the lines. I just cut them off. We'll have to braze them back, but I was going to get everything ready before I uh, started. So you need to cut the zip tie to separate these. And this is the freezer one. And if you can't tell, it's caught somehow. Let's see. Uh, actually, I'm going to 
lift up the front. Let's see. See, with the front open, you can actually see that stuff, but if you're looking at down straight, you can't really see that. Let's close this back so I don't put any unnecessary weight on it. All right, so open that up. Now, if you're curious which one goes to the freezer and which one goes to the refrigerator, if you follow their small line, it will go back to this you see that one goes to here oh this one here's this one and this the other so if you do cut the wrong hose uh, you just cost yourself a lot more work but we need to cut this I mean a lot of people actually braise them off or sweat them off I guess you would call it but I got a little cutter, so we're going to just cut it off. Uh, that sucked right there. Let's see. If you're wondering, we're not going to reuse this, so that hose did not matter. into it. Ease into it. Just to, after a couple lines, just tension it up. Not We're not going hard into it, but just a little bit. And uh, should cut into not too many more spans. Hopefully. This isn't my best refrigeration cutter here because I really couldn't find it, so I had to take this out of my Elwood uh, car brake kit. So, if you cut steel lines, it'll cut copper, but still not the, the best one. Let's get it close. Should be about ready to break it off. If you go too fast with it though, it will, you'll booger the inside of the hose up and then it'll be just nasty so wasn't too bad uh, this other line you need to get some pliers some uh, wire pliers for it but uh, since I'm using my Hellwood stuff it comes with this nice actually I think I had to buy this separate so you can put that up and you can clean your lines out. Since this one's pointed down, I'll have no worries that uh, all the stuff will go down from it. So, I'm just trying to open it back up a little bit. And it looks pretty good, actually. Uh, we'll go a little bit more just to Next, clean it down some. So really there's three cutters on this, so just as long as you go 60 degrees or so, it's all cutting. And that was done. So tap it, get clean duck out. Which if I'm pointing it all downhill, it should Complaint with no problem. Uh, let's see. This one's going to be a little bit more, so. Okay. 
Okay. That one did not clean up good. Let's go a little more. I think I broke that one off a little too early. There's a piece of uh, copper hanging off of it. I don't like that. are clean. I just got to cut this one off right now. So I'm going to get some wire cutters and I'll trim that off. All right, so I'm back with the wire cutters. Just figure out which uh, wire size you need. All you need to do is score it. So just kind of come around it a little bit. Try not to walk with it. And there she is. That's not good anymore. That nice little cut. Actually, we'll, we'll try that again. That was, that did not cut that great. Slight pressure. Pretty good. I'll make sure air blows through it before we solder it up. Alright guys, I'm back. I've got them all clean. Let me take my glasses off so I can see. But uh so I just used some steel wool, got around all the joints, cleaned them up pretty good. I got my gas, my inert gas coming out. Uh so it's gotta come all the way back through this line. And uh, so I capped this one off actually. Uh, so anyway, it's ready to, we're gonna braise the big line first. And we'll come back and we can braise the small line. But uh, so whenever you braise it, always have a wet rag, like I do. So as soon as I braise it, we'll wipe it off, keep it from burning, from us burning ourselves. All right, guys, sorry I didn't record that last one. I got you turned on now. Still got my inert gas going through it, but we're going to get this one next. Uh, put my glasses on so I can see it. All right, here we go. Woo! Gotta get it in here. Torch is way too big for working on this stuff, actually, so... Bear with me. Let's see if we can get her going in. That should be good. Got my wet rag. And we're gonna have to wet it again. Alright, with some finagling, the little uh, dryer, or filter, right here. I'm going to stick it through these, and then barely get this wire, this uh, tube to just barely stick in there. Of course, you need to get it to stick in there enough. And uh, so, so then I'll heat it up, and be able to suck that solder in. It's going to be kind of interesting. Um, I had to open up the, I had to open it up so I can get the torch right here, actually. Uh, yep. Yeah. That's probably going to be a better option. And next off, you can't even open it up like this. Like I said, 
the only way I'm doing this is since it's in my basement. So uh, I'm going to open up the front and then I can get the torch right there. Yeah. So uh, I can. So I'm going to slide it right here. I don't want to carry it through that back up under there. So here we go. Ooh. All right, so we're still good. Let's uh, pick it up and see what happens. It's heating up fast. All right, here we go. Should be good. Let's look at it. Let's see. I gotta. I can't see which one's which. There it is. You always turn your acetylene off first. Let me check that out, but I believe we got her soldered in. That didn't take long and didn't take much solder actually, so good job.